Cause it don't mean nothing It don't mean nothing without you And we are down here Okay, what is that? 89? Set that bitch up That's a cool clap. You hear that? All right. Guadalupe that. Guadalupe. <laughs> Guadalupe that. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to put some hats on. Hats. No, I'm going to put some, uh, some hats on. Yes, this is me in my creative realm. My head goes crazy. Okay. Na, 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 na. It's gonna need a dirty little boppy bass and a little 808 or something like that. I gotta see if I can get that popping, but I wanna get this vocal idea down too real quick here. So it don't mean nothing. Mm, it don't mean nothing without you and our discussion. Mm, and all that fun shit we do when we were drunk, yeah. mm, We could hardly function us too, but it don't mean nothing. Life ain't nothing without you. Uh, I have to. Where are you, sir? Where are you, sir? Okay, dryer boy. Fucking dryers, eh? It was lying, it wasn't ready. It was not ready. Oh wow, I look pretty cool right up here in this area. <laughs> new hats, got new hats in the mail. I don't know how it's really working. On my Steve Zissou shit. Somebody asked me, why do you wear sunglasses in the house? Well, my response was, sunglasses and Advil last night was mad real. Now, last night wasn't mad real, but when you work in the studio, let me show you why sunglasses are actually nice. YOLO, DOLO, whoa, 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 whoa. It's hard on the eyes around here, brother man. You know what I mean? It's fucking, she gets bright, bright. Hey, it's not some easy realm to exist in, okay? Ear up, ear up. Okay, I gotta see if I can implement a little bass line here, and then I just wanna lay these vocals, and then we're gonna make some food. Philly cheesesteak sort of things ish kind of deal just some stuff I got laying around we'll talk about it I'll show you and then we'll eat and we'll have some other laughs too ah the bass line uh, slap at the bass I need to slap at the bass slap at the bass I need to slap at the bass and it don't mean nothing and you drove me nuts then too she did <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Hmm. Wait, away. Eight away flex. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta record that for sure. some sort of horn on this. I'm gonna pull up the horn and see what's up. Ooh. Oh, that's good, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, a little 
had it. Almost had it. That's sick. <laughs> what? That's dope. Really? I can't believe that. Okay, let's try it again. It's the thing about music, man. When you're making music, it just, it's in your fucking body. to not want to vocally <laughs> match it but you want to offset a whole nother melody with your mouth like to follow that is sometimes it can work a lot of hit songs are kind of catchy like that where they just the, the lead dictates the vocals and then it's like a sing-along for a lot of people so sometimes simple is actually better white boy was a spitter don't mean to make you bitter but i'm shitting on you nah. not a quitter man i always deliver on these beats mozart go hard with the fingers Go figure, I go for my figures At least six O's in tow with a digit I gotta lay it down I gotta lay it down That's hilarious Whoa, I can hear myself with the microphones <laughs> Early <laughs> I, Just for fun It's just for fun I was I had the pop verse earlier And now I'm super hard <laughs> Oh man, this is great Oh, life in the fast lane. Da da ba da ba da ba lane. Don don sing dash rain. Ba da ba ba da ba da ba now. Life in the fast lane. Sun up mountain from thunder bay now. Life in the crash lane. Da 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 da. Oh hello. Hi hi. Hey how are you? I can hear you. Yeah yeah. Oh you guys can't hear shit, but I'm gonna rap now over this beat in here, and then we're gonna hear it out loud maybe. I don't know. Well who knew? White boy was a spitter, don't mean to make you bitter, but I'm shitting on you, nah, not a quitter, man, I always deliver on these beats, Mozart, go hard with the fingers. Go. I think we owe it to ourselves to hear it on the speaker one time. Yeah, yeah, well, who knew, white boy was a spitter, don't mean to make you bitter, but I'm shitting on you, nah. Not a quitter, man, I always deliver on these beats, Mozart, go hard with the fingers. Go figure, I go for my figures At least six O's in tow with a digit Don't forget it, for those who didn't get it In case y'all wanna know, that's a million You silly, silly Motherfuckers always got something to say But it's funny how that changes once I come up in the place Ain't so brave when I run up in your face And get to dumping it from the way I'm pumping it from the base I'm waking up all the neighbors Like I would ever d d d d d d dump it from the waist. No, definitely not. The only thing I dump from my waist is change when I fall over out of my chair or bed. So that's a thing. Is it not hilarious that this, <laughs> this was supposed to be this? Don't mean nothing. I don't mean nothing without you and no discussion. I know that fun shit we do when we were drunk and yeah, we could barely function us too, but it don't mean nothing. Mm, it don't mean nothing without you. <laughs> what a whole two worlds apart. One is like <laughs> longing for lost love, and the other is d -d 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 dumping it from the waist. <laughs> what a waste man I am. Anyways, let's make food now. <laughs> Guys, after that musical inspiration, eh? I've worked up an appetite now. Also, me being 20 hours fasted is also going to be responsible for working up an appetite. But I have these tortillas that I've been meaning to use. They're a couple days, well, maybe getting on a week. I'm like, yeah, got to use them. And then I have this beef from Luz. It's a great brand. It's just pre-done meats they're amazing uh i would highly suggest and then i have these cheese curds an onion some pepper and chili peppers and cheese whiz and i was like i think i need to make some sort of makeshift 
Philly cheese, tortilla wraps, crisp them up in the pan, melt this in a bowl, have it for dipping. We're replacing the green pepper with these peppers because I don't have green peppers and I like these better. So a little heat twist, a little hoodie twist. This is my new thing, hand gesturing and cooking. But yeah, super simple throw together shit, but I want to do it with ya. So we do it now and then we eat and we have a good old time. Okay. So you actually went shopping yesterday and I got this sick ass cutting board. It was actually fairly cheap, 35 bucks. I got 20% off as well. So it was like actually a really good deal, but you know, I've been wanting one of these for so long and it's like nice, super thick, super heavy. But anyways, we must cut an onion. So we go strip a hole real quick. You guys hear this noise out here? Sorry. Well, you know what? Bitch, it's real life, right? We're living in COVID, it's real life. Things, oh, almost caught myself. Things gotta happen. But yeah, I want these onions to be like long boys. Cut them off at the butt. So yeah, all we have to do for this is just some simple veggie prep. Just get these onions. I'm gonna just do the pepperoncinis and onions chopped up. I'm gonna toss them in a pan together and then saute them off real quick and then just chuck that meat in because it's already pre-cooked. So we get these done. I just love these simple and easy meals. It's like my favorite way of cooking, if I'm honest with you guys. It's like nothing too strenuous, nothing too crazy. You know, I don't fancy myself to be like a true chef or anything. I just like when you can reach in your fridge and have like those that meat that I have there, that loose or whatever that I'm telling you about. That meat is as good or better than I could make probably and it just requires me like no effort. And it's like $7 for the pack where I could buy the same thing at the store for seven bucks, but then I have to prep it, cook it, da 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 da. Like, I feel like most people live in a world where they don't really want to have to do too much work to get their meal, right? Like we live in these times. I know it's cool to like cook from scratch or whatever, but I don't know. I feel like it's, just lately, I'm more of a simple throw together kind of guy. I feel like Sam, the cooking guy, has taken that route on his channel too. Like very like the work in person's meal, like a friendly, friendly for the average person to just kind of some pre-made things you'll have in your fridge or just a little bit of fresh meat, but simple dishes, nothing too crazy at all. And that's my jam lately. Now I'm excited. I'll say this, uh, normal peppers, green peppers, yellow and red, actually screw me up in my uh, my bum chamber. So like, they make me really gassy and stuff, but for some reason these pepperoncinis don't do it to me. And I'm actually super excited to see how this like spice and a little bit of pickling liquid type thing translates in that like really rich fatty gravy. I think it's gonna be like a good, addition to a Philly cheese. Anywhere you go, I have that song stuck in my head. I'll follow you down. <laughs> I don't know why. All right, saute these up a little bit. Get them going and then we'll just add that meat in quick and then it's pretty much heat up some cheese sauce, wrap them in tortillas, bada bing bada boom, press them off on, in a pan real quick and Bob's your uncle, we're eating. I figure I should probably get a little bit of fat source in here, a little something just to keep it nice and moisturized around the world. Everybody's like, wow, how are you just using your hands for everything? Well, that's what you call having worked in a kitchen before. You know what I mean? It's probably not the smartest thing, but it saves your dish, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that's my new thing in these videos, joker laughs. Get used to it. They're coming, and they're here to stay. Okay, I lied, there is actually one more like little step that I wanna take, and that is this beef comes in like larger-ish chunks. And before we get it in there, because I want it to be able to wrap well in the actual wrap, I actually want to chop it into like 
how a Philly style meat would actually be, you know? So I figure easy peasy enough, right? We just shred her. Into strips this way. Spin her that way. Get going crazy on it. And then that way, when we actually do end up putting it in the wrap, it will be obviously more malleable. You can mold it, right? That's just something that I wanted to do. Forgot to mention it. All right, so these are looking pretty good. I don't want them to be cooked like way down caramelized or anything like that. I just want like a nice little saute on them. Just a little something just to soften them up. Also, all that jus that was in there, do not waste that. Get that in there. They say the hand is the best spatula ever made on the planet. And so we combine, oh my God, it's smelling so good. But yeah, man, I highly suggest this product, Luz. So, so good. I feel like we all know a Philly should have some whiz, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna plop that in there. I might put a little bit of cream or milk on top of it, then heat her up. And I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna heat it up in a very sketchy method and hope for the best. All right, legit couldn't find a spoon. So we just do it like this. And then in that little region, break it off with a little bit of cream. And over here we go. Now, I don't have a microwave. Tell me how cocky this is, but I think it's gonna work. Sometimes you just gotta be resourceful in life. Turn it down way low. And we let that go and do its thing thing and hope that it doesn't blow into shards in my face. So what I want to do is come in with these well proper cheese curds and just get these melty schmelty. Oh you guys, it is smelling so good and I'm getting so ridiculously excited for this. Wow. A mad scientist or a dad scientist or what? Maybe both. Look at that. We have liftoff and I am a genius. Thank you me and you're welcome you. Try it sometime. Please don't blow your face off. It's amazing. Life is better with cheese sauce, you know what I mean? Tell me that ain't it. Tell me that ain't it. I got Spider-Man in here just slinging web cheese webs, making it crispy and delicious. Come on now. It's time to get that in a wrap for certain. All right, simple from here. Look at this, look at this crisp on that piece. It's like a piece of cheese or something, just so crispy. I'm so about it. So I don't know if I should make two or three, maybe like three smaller ones or two big boys. We'll see, see how it portions out. I wanna make three, but I don't know if it'll stretch that far. Yeah, I can get three, a perfect three. That way we won't go too crazy on how big they are. To all my wrap, non-wrap professionals, this is how you wrap. This side in, this side in, this side over. You tuck. Oh, I should have made two big ones. These are little. <laughs> I thought they'd be bigger. But you know what? I want to make perfect little logs. I hate when, when wraps don't work out and they're just flying everybody. There you go. A perfect Philly blunt. You know what I mean? Not the biggest, but perfect. Okay, lay it on its side while we do the other ones. Man, this is gonna be so good. I can already tell this is gonna be amazing. In, over, in, over, under, and roll. Make a, right? We're trying to make a little taquito, Philly taquito blunt. There she be, perfect. Come on. All right, we got our three perfect bras. And now we just gotta put some oil in a pan and toast these bitches shut with another little golden on top here. It's gonna be perfecto. Oh yeah, hear that sizzle? Got Close them shut, boys, close them shut. I think she's gonna act quick right now. Oh, that's a little dark, a little dark for my liking. I mean, they're good, they're nice. Maybe just a little extra crispy for my liking, but still gonna be delicious. Whew, yikes. Shall we crack into one of these and see what they're all about? Moment of truth.
just gotta fluff them up. Gotta fluff them up like a, like a male porn star before the scene. That looks good to me. Can't wait. Let's get these plated and we'll eat. All right, here's the boys. Gang's all here. A deep interior look into a simple cook of a very delicious thing, I would say. It's Yellow Beanie. I thought that you couldn't see me. Look at these views from burritos and cubes. Shout out Ice Cubes, my favorite. All right, y'all, What Up World was really good with y'all. Back with another one. Hopefully you enjoyed this completely random series of events, but that's how I'm feeling lately. I want to just make things a little different around here. There's lots to come here in the near future on this channel. Lots of changes coming. Um, knitted yellow beanies are one of them, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see as the future unveils itself. You'll, you'll be here for the ride and it's cool, I hope, I think. But uh, I just, you know, changing up the program. Anyways, Philly cheese burritos, you saw them come together. Uh, for some reason, I want some Valentina with this cheese sauce. And then of course, we're coming back today with the cherry vanilla Coca-Cola. Uh, zero sugar, of course, and we got our cup here with ice. So before we do anything more, we must pour. Because the burritos are front and center, we're gonna do it from behind. We're gonna hit it from behind. So we're gonna pour from the back. It looks great, it's wonderful. While we do that, of course, we talk to our sponsor here. Hello, Mr. Coldest Water, how are you today? Oh, you're, you're cold, you're frigid. How long have you been feeling like that? 36 hours, you do not say. Is that how long you're able to keep things cold? So I thought, so I thought. Um, turns out that this guy, Mr. Coldest Bottle here, can turn things cold for 36 hours, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, I'm, I'm a huge proponent, proponent of it. I went on a hike with my sister recently and I left it in the car with ice in the blistering heat sun in a car. I came back parched, looking for at least a morsel of like a, you know what I mean? Just a little taste of water. There was no meltage to be had. So when I say the product is legitimate, it left me stranded with no water when I needed water because it was so amazing at keeping the ice frozen. So shout out you. Also, don't shout at you because you left me parched in a time of need. Desert shit. Okay, we already know that's good from other videos. I am into it. It's got the, the vanilla really comes through that toasted type flavor. So, code hoodie down below, 10% off. You can enter into the draw one a week they give away. And, Japanese. For those who have been buying, I love you. Love you so much. Okay, let's get into this ASAP Rocky because this has been much long video that said though and this is something that i will always live by as a youtuber bitch there's a scrub bar button if you don't want to see me do the other stuff just scrub the bar you know what i'm saying this is for the people who actually want to see me be extra weird on some other shit we're losing the focus point there it is okay so we dip when i dip you dip we dip I feel like I had to hit it with the dip right off rip. Now I'm gonna hit it, even though I'm so tempted to go Valentina, I'm gonna hit it like this first. The hardest thing about these cameras, man. Trying to get everything in focus. I hope my face is decently there. Okay. Delicious. Stunningly delicious, absolutely. My immediate thing that I'm noticing is the pepper genius. Mm. 
man. The jus, the salt, that meat. A little bit of heat from the peppercini. Sweetness of the onion. And those cheese curds, man, are hitting so incredibly different. That's my main issue with cheese sauce is like <clears throat> it can be delicious. But I find that it's so rich. It sometimes overwhelms what you're eating and all you get is cheese sauce and everything is just, just texture lost in cheese sauce. Which is why I don't understand why so many feed, food people on YouTube do it. I mean, I do understand. It gets the kids and the people who are like, oh, that's crazy, that big yellow thing. Like this. The color draws them in. But for me, it's like I came here to eat a delicious thing that I made. And when I bite it plain, that's where the magic is. I can taste everything. All of that. Right? nuanced complexities. Should we switch it up and get off the food and get over to me a little bit? Hi, I'm here. I'm real. I got this condom baby bottle condom cap. But it is what it is. I'm trying to switch it up and see what I can do with these new beanies. Okay. I have to try it with the Valentina, of course. Just because cheese sauce and Valentina goes together so well right oh yeah maybe i'll try just valentina works either way, but the cheese sauce and Valentina. Preferred method. Banger. Banger, 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 banger. I'll say this, when I was first rolling these up in the kitchen there, and I was like, oh, these seem kind of small. In my head, I was like, I don't know if they're gonna be that filling. Tell you what. They're getting me there. It's almost like the key is to do a little dip. Just a touch and a touch. Just to complement the rest of that, you know?
seems like such a stoner munchy food. Man, I'm impressed with these big time. I feel like I made them a little oily. That's okay. We learn for the next time. I will say a very rich indulgence. The gravy of the meat, very rich. The cheese, rich. This cheese, rich. Even the tortilla has a buttery richness. So to have those pepperoncinis in there with some heat, a little vinegar, definitely helped. And also this helped to find the balance. All right, I got a bunch of shit in my teeth. Tortilla stuck all in there. So till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.